First Class Radio, WMRC, WMRCDailyNews.com. It's Living for the Weekend. You can listen back online uh, at WMRCDailyNews.com in our media center. You can watch tonight on Milford TV, 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Joining me now in studio, the cast of Distracted Driving, the hit uh, Milford TV show. What's up, guys? How are you? Critically acclaimed hit. Is it? Yeah. Is mm-hmm. it? Who said that? A critic. A critic. Critic. A critic. <laughs> they were very critical <laughs> about it. Critic. So I cleaned the truck today. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. It's Ooh. Tim and Jay. In preparation for season... Yeah, that's why. Well, four. Yeah. I wash the truck once a year, but every time I wash it, I'm like, that's a good looking truck. We've made some decisions lately, and it looks like 2016 is going to be a big year. Oh, yeah. So that's, 2017 that's the is going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we keep going the way we're going, 2018. Yeah, it's our 10-year plan yeah. for this show. We have a plan? Yeah. Sweet. Season 10 is going to be fantastic. Have you guys ever thought about two cameras? Ooh. Have you ever thought of paying us? <laughs> <laughs> we do have two GoPros. So, I don't That's know. That's more editing. We'll see. That is a lot of editing, yeah. We can't even get our sponsor to pay for our gas. Right? We had two cameras. Mm-hmm. We lost one. Now we have one camera. Uh, Tim lost a, a lost camera a at the Rugged Maniac the Rugged last Mania. year. Oh. Why, why did you lose it? Because it was duct taped in my head. <laughs> and, and, and the person who didn't have it duct taped? That was the right? best part of the day. Not, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> in hindsight, <laughs> I can laugh about it. But was it the older? Tim approached the older. Oh, yeah. that's fine. Tim approached the girl, older, oh, yeah. approached the girl who had a big... Because they're so cheap. <laughs> she had a strap around her chest that had the camera on it. Right. Like, high end. Maybe she spent 200 bucks on it. And you're like... Oh, how much you spent? Like 200 bucks. Guess how much I spent on my tape job on my head? <laughs> Nothing. And then he loses the camera. How much the camera. did that end up costing you? <laughs> uh, $300. There anyway, you go. For anyway. A new, for, a new, for a new camera. So Distracted Driving is a show we have on Milford TV, and a, we have a YouTube channel for it. And it's, uh, I, we have, a, what do we count it? Like 50 episodes or something now? Yeah, we, as soon as we counted, we were impressed with the number. Yeah. And, we're then we at, and then we stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're at 49. 50 was a good number. We're, we're oh, close. No, no yeah. we're close. And when we do find out the 50th, we're going to do something special. Just you wait and see. Okay. Uh, it could be that Christmas special. That could, could be the be. 50th. So uh, has anybody really called up looking for the show? No. Yeah. No. No, come on. Uh, yeah. Does anybody even know your phone number? <laughs> but. Uh, all right. It was me. Studio. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jay calls every other TV. day. Yeah. That's an insult. No, no, I mean, are they emailing? <laughs> Who calls? That's what I mean. Oh, I didn't no, mean... we get calls. We yeah. do. Uh, what do they, they ask about? Yeah. Uh, when, when people call in and complain, we know Lunch menus. <laughs> we know that they're watching. Who though. complains? I we mean, get, RJ's help. fans. We get a mix of both. So, oh, yeah, no. We get the most complaints about RJ's show. Have, we, have you seen it? Uh, <laughs> have we gotten complaints, And you seem shocked? Yeah, has, has distracted driving Because that would be complaint. awesome if we got complaints. Have we? Uh, not yet. Son of a... You're not doing enough. Not <laughs> Time to rev home. it up. Yep. We could. That's our biggest fear, though. We always wanted to be kind of a PG-13 show. I almost hit a lady no, in the, the parking lot once. the same guy who calls over and over the again same about guy. Knows the phone number? show, yeah. Yeah. I, I keep telling him, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> and then he'll call a couple months later and complain. And, like, you realize you're still watching it. There's, like, 500 <laughs> channels. But that means RJ's doing something right, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. That's, like, that's what happened with Howard Stern. People it, it, who exactly. hated him still yep. listened. Yep. They listened more. We just compared R.J. Sheedy <laughs> oh my God. to Howard Stern. <laughs> He's listening right now. It's basically the same is. idea. I, I don't think know. what we're learning is that like not the we show. Need to, if you squint, they're <laughs> like the same to, thing. We need to get a hate crowd out of this. Yeah. Oh, this is not my goal. Why? Why would we do that? <laughs> no. No. Well, unless we want positive. Yeah, but at least they'll be watching. Well, uh, hopefully they're watching and loving it so much that they don't ha- need a reason to hate it. You know? There are people Oops. watching. The, the lady in the Shaw's parking lot that I almost hit, she's watching. <laughs> you almost hit one of our, she our was, only listeners? She was walking If you hit by. her, we're down to three. So you go to pull into an empty parking space, and she's like far enough that you can pull in front of her. She's just walking, but yeah. close, so I stopped. and like I was such in a rush. I stopped and let her go. She waved to me. We went into Walgreens, and she turns and goes, Thank you so much. Hey, you're the guy right. from the show. I'm like, that's all I'm thinking. I'm like, can you imagine if I cut her off? Then we get the hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have cut her off. Yeah. What I get is, hey, I love that show you do where you drive around. That's Nobody says the name of the show, but I do get that a lot. I get a lot of people that say that. Love the show where you guys drive around. We so get a lot good. of spam because of it. Do we? Oh, yeah, yes, we do. Yeah, the, the name is too close to an issue, a big issue people that's going join, on right join. now. We're trying to make a rally this week because of distracted driving people texting. Please join us. I'm like, dude, this is a show. <laughs> yeah, we should have rethought that one out. But I like you know. the name. Oh, yeah. I love the name, but it's it true. It sticks. It's like There's lit. enough headlines that Rob can send me that have distracted driving in the title, and he, he loves doing that. <laughs> so usually a horrible story. We make the story, headlines but all in the my time. job in real life, that's what I do. I write training for distracted driving. It, it's every yeah. day I'm dealing with this, and I uh. just laugh. Going, I, should, I think you should Google my stuff. Uh, so yeah, we what are our plans? We took a break a little while ago, 
and um, this summer, I think it was before the summer, we yeah. started taking I think a the break. Last thing, yeah. We were going to come back in the fall, which we're not going to do now. But we are planning a new season, <laughs> and it's going to start in 2016. It's going to be a lot of fun. We may have some something special in between. Yeah. Um, but we're we're trying to find new ways to, to build the show up a little bit more, make it a little bit more exciting every time we do it. For uh, us. For, well, for us. Because we're us. the ones that have to do it. Yeah. And we hope that if we enjoy it that much... The fans will too. Fans, <laughs> I said fans. You did it again. Viewers, I mean. Jeff's grandfather. Jeff's grandfather loves us. Yeah. Uh, so that that's what's happening with distracted driving right now. Halloween. How much do you love Halloween? Jay said it was his favorite holiday. Top three. Top three. It's, well, my, it's my wife's favorite. Top one, number one. Okay. Barbara's favorite holiday. Is it yeah. Christmas? Is number one. It'd be my second. You've got the movies. You've got the music. You've got the costumes. Christmas. You've got everything. I could say Christmas. Christmas. No, Christmas is great. But yeah. again, the the it, what? I'd much rather listen to uh to Dream Warriors than you know Here Comes Santa Claus. Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> that's really not a Halloween <laughs> song. Sure it is. You are it making is it up. It is to me. <laughs> I, yeah, I think you could listen to Dream Warriors during that was my Christmas song. as well. Wasn't it really? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's all right. It was good. Yeah. I got uh, married in October. So. Yeah. But you're, you're thinking that just any ho- song from a horror movie yeah. would be a... Uh, it's, uh, it's much better yeah. than any, Halloween song. any Christmas song. Yeah. Come on, oh, don't you don't want to listen to Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas on repeat? You can right now. I've got it, the HD2 channels. Do you know there's an all Christmas channel? Is there really? Yeah. Every time I want uh, to, I'll, I'll flip through the channels. But there is like, no all Halloween channel. There no. should be. Hmm. Oh, I'm I agree. Saying. Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas movie or Halloween movie? Uh, the, the director just said... I know uh, what the director ha- said. Oh, sorry. But he, I know he gets very upset about this. That's why I'm bringing this is. up. We had an argument about this last Rob. year. Wait, what's the question? What? Oh, thanks for listening. Sorry. I got zoned out. Sorry. <laughs> He's thinking Nightmare, about RJ being Nightmare Howard Before Stern. Christmas. <laughs> oh. Yes. Christmas, Christmas movie, movie or Halloween, or Halloween movie? movie? It's a Halloween movie. Jay? Um, I'll watch it at both times of the year. Okay. Because it's inter... It's a great movie. Interactive. But I would say it's Inter- a Halloween movie. Intertwined. The director just came out and said what he planned what it to be. Say? Halloween. I always thought it was a Halloween movie. But the general population celebrates it as a Christmas movie. Do they really? Yeah. It's because we it also came out at Christmas time. We watched it in the carport last year on Halloween, not yeah. not Christmas. Yeah, I think it's a Halloween movie. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just a great movie. Period. I think it's both. But it came out at but Christmas. But you can't time. watch it during the summer. What are your favorite <laughs> Halloween movies? And it just can't be a well, it I guess can. it could be a horror it movie. Fit. What's your favorite movies to watch around Halloween? Top three. Oh, easily. Well, I mean, so, so, well, my number one of all time. It's always going to be Halloween, the original John Carpenter's Halloween. It's 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 one of the best slasher movies out there because I don't one know. One of the, the original. Yeah. yeah. Um. The 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 uh the music score. That's what made it. If you take away that music score, that movie is nothing it's a without movie. it. Yeah. If they put like Mariah Carey's <laughs> All I Want for, <laughs> Christmas, want for Christmas, Christmas in there. Right. It's a Christmas movie all of a sudden. Um, but there's too many to, to go through to name, but just a couple that I watched But you lately. know what? For the sake of entertainment yeah. in this show. <laughs> okay. Well, um, well, how about the ones I just watched? All right. I just watched Idle Hands the other night, and I love that movie okay. with uh, Jessica Alba. No, no, he just he's said. Just, he's just forced I just really show. like them. And, and, of course, Lost Boys. Lost Boys, yeah. that's a Halloween movie right there. E.T. is a great Halloween movie. Stop. It is. Well, they, they do celebrate. Uh, it's a great Halloween. It's Halloween. I, know. I was going to say stop because they do celebrate Halloween in the movie. I don't know yeah. if that makes it a Halloween movie. But. Well, if you make it a Halloween movie, it's more redeemable. No, it's redeemable it's on its own. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's it a lovely story about a boy and his dog. Yeah. Um, horror movies, Tim? Your favorites? Halloween. Besides Halloween? Halloween. Okay. I like any of the Leatherface stuff. Really, do you? Yeah. I had no idea you were a Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre fan. Those. I do, wow. too. Yeah. Even the one with McConaughey and... Uh, that was yeah, hilarious. That was a great movie. <laughs> hilarious. In a different way. That's yeah. a better movie. Yeah. Um, even In the prequels? Nightmare. Oh, Nightmare on Elm yeah. Street? The original yeah. the or the, the cheesy ones no, as they went on? Okay. Number one, period. I just love that movie. Three. I know you like the cheese factor, Jay. Well, I like the cheese factor, but I mean, it, it didn't get really that cheesy. It got, you know, just different. Well, like when he did like ads for Pepsi or something like that, that was cheesy. But I mean, if you watch them, but they're still But everything was a scary. one-liner after, yeah. after a while. But that the was first one, he was but scary. It, it was like a comic The first film. three was That's scary. Even the third one, Dream Warriors, yeah. which I still say is the best out of them all because, you know, Dream Warriors. Yeah, but he threw uh, a TV on somebody and say, "We're tuning you out." Or right. Something. I mean, that's because he's he found his he found his crowd, man. <laughs> he he should have been an actual DJ. Uh, Rob, what are some of your favorites? Oh well, um, if we go at all. Interestingly enough, uh, what's it? If we it, go at all? No, no. What was the name of the movie we were talking about? Don't go or no, it, it, follows. it follows. It follows. It follows. That's up there. But I'd say uh, for classics. Yes. This is horrible radio. Um, well, it's okay. If you're interested. No one's listening. Um, Night of the Living Dead, the original George Romero. The black and white? Yes. Yeah. We would not have The Walking Dead without the yeah, original Night the of the Living Dead. Yeah, granddaddy of, uh, of zombie, zombie movies. Get you, Bob. <laughs> yes, exactly. Is it scary because I've never seen it? Is and it scary because it's old? Watching and... the dark and yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it can be. 
But it's great. It's got great social commentary underneath. Right. Yeah. Right. And here's a fun fact Ooh. for all the viewers. <laughs> Uh, midnight this Saturday will be airing the original Night of the Living Dead because it's public domain. You will be? Yeah, on Milford TV. Sweet. When? Midnight. Midnight. Tonight? No, Saturday. Saturday. Halloween. So when, once it's November so 1st, you'll be Sunday. So November technically. 1st, not Halloween. Yeah, but everyone's up. <laughs> Don't, come on. It's Halloween night. I'm going to call and complain. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Halloween is over, sir. Sorry. Sunday at midnight. Okay. But, yeah. I might watch it. Out on the big screen, I mean. Sure. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. And oh, we're going to air it on Alfred for TV. You've never watched it? I've never seen it. No. I, can't, I mean, I've seen it for like six hours. And then my next uh, Halloween movie would be Army of Darkness. Oh, that's a great Army one. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, yeah, Ash and the Army of Darkness are premiering tomorrow night on Stars. Mm. Already programmed to record. I tomorrow don't night, have Stars, so either. I'll be going over to Tim's house. I got it. Smack you in the face, you'll see Stars. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It just seemed like a Jay thing to say, and I wanted to <laughs> say it good. before he did. Thank you. <laughs> um, that looks awesome. It, it Bruce does. Campbell still looks like Ash. He's the, still Ash. The first, <laughs> pre, the first episode hasn't even aired yet, and they already booked a uh, second season. Have yeah. they really? Boom, wow. Second season. Just based on the trailer. Yes, on the trailer. <sighs> the power of trailers. But uh, but they uh, they previewed it at Comic Con. And I guess everyone gave it thumbs up. That's nice. so Everybody. weird because you wouldn't think those people would be into it. <laughs> <laughs> you just put that character in Play a new the situation. Show and then if it does well, then you book it. No. I love Bruce Campbell. He's he awesome. can do no wrong. He is Ash, though. I mean, he's oh, yeah. done many other things, but he is that character. That's that's his bread and butter right there. He's I think, Bruce Campbell. So. That's that's um, his character. I think Scream would be my my favorite, re- most recent. But now it's kind of a classic. It's like twenty oh, yeah. years old. I love Scream. It, it redefined the entire genre. Yeah. And Again. it's scary and it's that's funny. Older than 20 and it's years got, old, isn't it? Uh, Ninety six, two, three. I know, I thought it was right around. Uh, I, it was early nineties. <laughs> as we look to Rob, I'll look it up. Google machine. Yeah, but um, I'm I'm one of the few people that loves the entire uh, quadrility. Uh, oh, I do too. I, I, I wasn't <laughs> my trilogy. <laughs> well, well, back up. What did you just say? <laughs> you mean, all of them? <laughs> yeah, I didn't trilogy? like three. I did not like three. 96. I love three. Is it? I thought it was earlier. 96. I think I called that one. See, Good call. See, three was actually one of my, my favorite movies just because it did. It it actually it made fun of itself to the extent. But you know me. Horror comedies are my favorite as well. Yeah. So it, it went in the direction of more comedy than, than horror going it on. It did. And Parker Posey is one of my favorite pers- people. Uh, same thing with uh, Putty from Seinfeld. He was hilarious. Just the entire cast was great in it, yeah. and the fact that that Dewey just never dies. I know, Spoiler right? alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's switch over to candies. What are your favorite holiday uh, Halloween candies? Reese's, Reese's, peanut, peanut, peanut butter cups. Yeah, Joe said just did a, an episode on the worst ones for you. That was probably one of them. Well, I, I watched that on Periscope. <laughs> I know, right? No, no, it was, I watched it was, that on Periscope. It was really good. <laughs> it was very informative, <laughs> and there was a lot of. Uh, I mean, most of the top twenty were my favorite candies. Fun dips but she was saying not to eat them. Well, she just said it's probably not a good idea to stuff your face with these candies. Hey, and it's not a good idea to stuff your face with anything. Well, that's true. <laughs> um, and then she had some options, some healthier options. So what were her options? Options carrots. were like uh, <laughs> carrots. And, actually, she did raisins like three years oh, ago. Who eats raisins? I know she'll never do that again. But you know, like the Annie's, she had to move. the Annie's uh, gummies, wanna, yep, Annie's brand, yep, like, like that. If you want toys, if you want to get egged, I mean, toys. <laughs> Nobody ever gets toys. I've given toys. Have you? There was a house on the street from us used to give a uh, matchbox car every year. The kids. I, they had the longest driveway, so that was the entice to go down. Like you go down. Yeah. You got rewarded. You got a matchbox Yeah, that's, that's great idea. I have a question for you guys. <laughs> yes. Now, maybe this... I don't... I go, right are you swi- hold on. Are you no, switching no. subjects? No, no, it's... Well, Halloween still. No, but, what's your favorite candy? Oh, sorry. I just want to get the candy out. I'm not uh, a big candy guy. I, neither am I, but I still have a favorite. Uh, what is it? I don't... Uh, Baby Ruth. <laughs> Baby, Baby Ruth. Ruth. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a chocolate fan, so... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything not chocolate. I tell you what though, you got to keep it chocolate. You got to keep it separate though. Starburst. I don't like my fruity Skittles. candy with my Skittles chocolate good. candy. You just don't mix those two together ever. Don't mix somebody somebody said the same thing about oh. chocolate and peanut butter and look what happened. No, no, so. that's delicious. Right. Oh, you do know what I steal from my kids uh the 100,000 grand whatever those bars are. See, now we're talking. See, you had to think <laughs> about it, but this is now it's conversation. I was just trying to think what I steal from my kids. And you eat it. You don't just steal it. Oh, steal I it and throw it, it away. Throw it away. No. <laughs> Rob. Uh Twix is the best. Cuz you get two. Yeah. That's what's the amazing two, thing about Twix. You get two. But there's layers to it. There's layers to everything Rob talks about. You notice that? <laughs> yeah. Movies, he said the TV movie shows, had a lot of layers. Everything. He's everything. like an onion. <laughs> I know what Massachusetts' number one candy for Halloween is. I heard it on a oh, I heard that too. Com- what is it? competing radio station on the way over here. You listen to other radio stations? <laughs> I'm offended. No. Well, no. What, what is it? Twix. 
Is it really? Uh, no, no, no it Starburst, Starburst, Starburst. Yeah. Starburst. Really? It should be Starburst. Yeah. Yeah. Starburst. Yeah. Starburst is too much effort. You got to individually. That's actually what they said. I don't like that. You were listening to the same show. <laughs> you were listening. No, I wasn't. Because that's exactly what they said. They go way sense. too much. The the reward in the work is not like at least Skittles. It's a handful. Yeah. It's already open, and it tastes the same basically. But you know what? For that type of food, you should have to work for it. Because yeah. then maybe you burn some calories or something. It does burst in your mouth, right? Is that what the, is Starburst? That the, no. Uh, no, not anymore. No, they don't. No. Sorry. Jay, go, guy. Uh, what were you talking about? No, I want to say it. No, I'm going to. No, I'm going right into my question. Uh, that's what she said. Get, see, that's too easy. <laughs> I know. All right, we got uh, Jay in here from Rubber Chicken Comics and Tim from Tim Rice Photo. Rob is here as well as Milford TV, and uh, we're talking about Halloween stuff. It's we're probably going to go. Things. Huh? What is he doing? I'm just clearing some stuff. Right, so We're going to go over the, the hour here, so I just want to set my clock up. I've got, a, I've got a question. Now, I grew up in Hopkinton. Uh, I still live in Hopkinton. Um, no stalkers. But um, when I, growing up, the night before Halloween, we, it was yeah. always called Cabbage Night. Cabbage Night. Okay. I don't remember Cabbage Night. Okay, see, oh, but, but Tim oh, remembers, so night. do you... Okay. Now, night. now my dad, used to, get, my dad yeah. used to get afraid. But it was called Cabbage Night because that was the night that everyone went out, you know, all the ne'er-do-wells and the street toughs, and they all went street out, tufts. and uh, I grabbed that from Goldberg's. Um, and but, the but, you know, and the, that's uh, the night... The sharks and the... Jets. Warriors. Jets came out. Yeah, the Warriors. And, uh, but that's the night people went out and they went, you know, smashing pumpkins and egging houses and, you know, TPing houses you know, and I stuff wanted, like that. Your dad was a cop. My yep. dad was Our yes. dads knew each other when they were cops, actually, but before we knew each other. Yes. Sounds like a, but, um, a buddy film. Yeah. Sitcom. Yeah. Sitcom. <laughs> but, but my <laughs> dad called the it the cops. same thing. So, but the night before Halloween, we'd have to go and take all the lawn ornaments in, and we'd take all the furniture, because there were kids walking. Oh, yeah. my dad would like, it's Cabbage Night, quick, go outside. Like, we had to bring everything in, because... Is but, this just a ho- I've never heard of Cabbage Night. I never Again, heard of Again, oh, well, you grew up in Medway, Medway and I, I grew up in Hopkinton, so I mean... Maybe we, it's a regional thing, I don't know. It's definitely regional. There's a connection to cabbages. Because it would throw cabbages, I guess, I don't know. I, I had family in South have Boston. no idea Every why night was Cabbage Night. But we remember it. It was a real thing. But I remember, and I remember thinking about, and, and like, my parents would never let me go out the night before Halloween. Same here. We could all go out in Halloween and still egg houses and you know TV places, but we're not Chicago allowed to Chicago had the same problem. So remember, they always had the fires in Chicago around Halloween, but it was always on Halloween. It was Devil's Night. Yeah. Yeah, same. So, so you what never... What about the crow? The crow, yeah. The, was oh, it the, the night before Halloween? It, it wasn't the night before yes. Halloween. Everything burned. Oh, I ran it up. Oh, yeah. 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 So there, there was something... About the night before Halloween. Oh no, I yeah. knew there was some. I just, I just know don't. It was cabbage. I don't. I don't know why I think it was it's a referred to as cabbage night. The burning yes. things you just throw cabbages. At a particular burn night, burning common, night, oh, sorry, commonly okay. the night of the thirtieth in October, during which young people play pranks and mischief in neighborhoods. It is a regional thing to Rhode Island, Massachusetts, huh. in Upper State oh, New York, okay. and Vermont. Yes. Well, how did it? How did it migrate here? Yeah, what's the history? Why cabbage? <laughs> I don't, I, we, I, Research how more. How much time do we have? Like, <laughs> we don't, you want me to read the people, whole wiki page? People need to no, know no. this. People no. can it's wiki their own. Night tonight. I went out trick or treating in 1986, the night before Halloween. That's and, when you get all the best candy. And we went out <laughs> to any house that had a light on. Brian, yeah. my friend Brian, and I went out dressed up complete. We knew what we were doing, and we go to any, and we convinced them. No, they moved it. The town moved it. It's tonight. Oh, okay. And they'd open up the bag. They'd reach in because most people had the candy. We got a good amount of candy that night, and they kept going. Are there more people? people. Like, oh yeah, they're way down the street. They're coming, <laughs> and that was it. We just confused a lot some, of people. Some towns would have it the night before. Some towns did would you, have it the night after. You just confused. We went back the next night. That's awesome. Yeah. I would go costume? in this. No, same costume. Same costume. That would same be the costume. best. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't notice you because there were all the other kids. What are your favorite costumes that you've dressed at? Not recently, because Jay, Jay has some great costumes. The really oh, plastic, recently. sharp masks of the Hulk that I wore probably like four times. Oh, I was the Hulk once, and I was a six million dollar man as well. And my lips were all cut up from that little hole, and my eyes. Under my eyes, and we get you right under yep. the eyes. I was I, Mork. Oh, okay, that was a good one. Mm. I know that, as cliche as it was, I went as a ghost for like three years with just the little eye holes. Same costume. And then I remember I ruined my costume because we cut that out, and then we put like this. The, remember when you ruined. put you put oatmail <laughs> on your face, and it looks like it, it no. dried oatmail. It looked like a, like a, uh, like like a, a zombie. Kind of snack. Yeah. yeah. And so that was We're it. Just a dude with dried oatmeal. <laughs> right. I'm oatmeal man. And people would eat it. Now, uh, but the one I remember as a kid, I remember I'd dress up as, as Kiss. Usually I'd be Peter Chris. No one wanted to be Peter Chris, so yeah. I'd be Peter Chris. Uh, Gene Simmons. Peter Chris doesn't want to be Peter I Chris know. right now. I was the ashamed Patriots fan one year. I just wore a paper bag over my head with a holes cut out in a Patriots jersey. <laughs> That's Can't great. That, that, that Can't do the, that anymore. That was before. That, that could was... be the new Red Sox, though. 
That could be the Red Sox costume yeah, this year. Yeah, no, it's, it, this was er, this was back in the '80s so when they were earning that title. You, you were the <laughs> you weren't a Patriots fan unless you were embarrassed. Yeah. What yeah. was your favorite costume as a kid, Ray? Um, I was a test tube mistake, so it was half girl, half guy. <laughs> what age? Whoa. Uh, I was in junior high. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so you're Which, a teenager, not a kid. Well, well, I was That'd like That'd be 12, a great 13. costume for a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> what um, are you? Confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, well, that's what the title would be now. Yeah. It was Test Tube mis- Mistake before. I think that would be politically incorrect yeah, these days. Would. Somebody yeah. would find offense to that, wouldn't they? I'm offended. Did anyone find out what the top costume is this year? Uh, I, I've it's heard other Caitlin people. Jenner. It's Caitlyn or it's Trump. Trump oh, is a big yeah. one, yeah. Rousey. I saw a lot of people, uh, actually I saw well, I saw something on this morning's uh, morning show or whatever, I flipped through there because Will Forte was on it, and I guess people are going as him <laughs> from uh, Last Man. Oh, with Man. the beard yeah. and everything, oh, that's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but they, they might mistake in him as uh, um, Tom Hanks from... True. <laughs> Did you have a senior dress up day in high school? But but it's the fat guys that are doing it, so (laughs) so you're not gonna. (laughs) Did you you have senior dress up day in your high school? We did for for Halloween. Yeah. So what were you? Uh, One year we went as cheerleaders and the football and the cheerleaders went as football players. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I went as what? Seeing a theme here. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Some drag. I like wearing women's underwear. (laughs) Who doesn't? Right. (laughs) It's the opening for distracted driving. Um. I can't think of the other ones I, I want to ask. I was Ed Grimley. I must oh, that's say. A good one. Yeah. No one knows who Ed Grimley is Back outside then, of No one knew of? then. <laughs> they <laughs> that was a, no, they didn't. Actually, yeah, that was an early I had 80s. The thing with the hair going up. Yeah. yeah. So I have I have an Ed Grimley doll at the store. Do you? Yes, I oh, do. I need Ed Grimley doll. It's like awesome. an original. Like yes, a, and it's still yeah. you pull the thing. Is I must say, <laughs> <laughs> somebody should. Okay, I talked to you about that, but we, if someone there. showed up as Jesus. They were sent home. What? See, Even back then, yeah, really? Wow. 91. I just remember that was a big deal. He he, he was on a cross, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. He couldn't do much work. Like, he was really walking around like this. And well, but that costume... You can wear it's, that around all day long, but you I can't know. dress up at It's know, impressive. It's a different show, I guess. It's all about the accessories with that costume. I was, uh, I won a contest one. I was Princess Leia. <laughs> Were you really? Yes, you looked awesome. I yeah. saw that. Had a beard. A beard, <laughs> I, I, put, I, mean, I went to Paperama. Remember Paperama? Yeah. yeah. And they didn't have any more men's costumes, so I found the biggest woman costume I could find. It was, it was a Princess Leia. Just the white, like, Obi-Wan, we need your help type of costume. it was the, uh, the slave. slave. No. Yeah. no. This was just as good, though. <laughs> that would have been image. awesome. Hairy legs that came down to my knee. I just wore sandals. I had the buns and a beard. Yeah. There's a picture of me sitting there somewhere. Your hair came down to your knee? Wow. Yeah. What are you doing here today? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I still don't know. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, I got a couple of options. Old costumes that uh, from back, jeez, uh, like 10 years ago that I'm considering because I'm considering because I just don't really want to go out and get another costume. Okay. So I, this, I, I, I was one. just shocked by this. You're Why? Wolverine. Because you're always, you, get, you get into this holiday. I do. And I'm going to dress up and I'm going to have a blast. It's just but, like an old costume. Like yeah. last year, you really went out of the way with your costume. It's dawn. If, if I have Dawn in my corner doing my makeup, then I'm going to win the costume contest. But, you know, I want her to be able to win oh, this year. Now the secret comes out. <laughs> yes. It's all about oh, her. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, okay. No, she's awesome. Without her, I'd just be a taco every year. <laughs> <laughs> Without her, a lot of things would be different yeah. for you. Yeah. That's and that's not even uh, a costume. That's just Jay Tuesday night. Yeah. taco night. Taco over, Tuesday. Yeah, with, with stuff all over your shirt. Yeah, I like, oh, I like oh, sour cream. I think now we have to go. I think, yeah. that's, I think we've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Tim, once again, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, 11 to 4. Medway, Tim Wright's photo. Wait to okay. sell it. No. Rubber I, chi- I didn't know what we were talking about for a second. Uh, Rubber Chicken four, Comics yeah. from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Go to my store first, then go to Tim's, or go to Tim's first, and then come to mine. It's all about costumes. But the point is, go to both. Yes. And they're not too far away. No. Actually, you, it, no, no, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. 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 If you go to Rubber Chicken or you're on your way to Rubber Chicken and you mention that at Tim Rice Photo, I'm sure they can figure out something to do for you. There sure. you go. And vice versa. Uh, I will. I'll give a special gift to anyone that goes to Tim's place first. Same here. But you have to show me the photo. <laughs> show me the photo. Oh, that's going to be tough. I don't... All right. <laughs> we'll figure this out. I feel like I'm going to be writing a lot of post-it notes. <laughs> Dear Jay. Rob, anything you want to plug? Why does Rob get to plug? He's in every oh. week. Uh, yeah. Uh, midnight, the Saturday, oh, yeah. Sunday, whatever it is. Whatever time... It's midnight on yeah. Halloween. Well, we'll uh, say that. Night of Living Dead on Milford TV. So technically it's one minute domain. will be on Halloween. Don't tell me it's not... Public domain. Public domain. It is. They actually just got the uh, they got the rights to the uh, merchandising back though finally, um, so that they can't sell like the pictures and stuff like that. You can still do whatever you want with the film. Okay. But like you know that I- the iconic 
a picture with a girl yeah. um, that everyone uses. You know, it's the yeah. spookiest part of the movie. Yeah. Um, they, they, you're not allowed to just take that anymore. Oh, okay. So finally, they're getting a little bit cash back. Well, I'm not for them. using that picture, but I'm, you can watch it on Milford TV. Right, the Mist Milford is TV, also public midnight. domain, isn't it? Well, that's that, a good one. The Mist. The, the original one? Yeah. Oh, the Mist, and I thought the Blob was, too. Yeah, I think you should do a see. creature double feature show mm -hmm. on Milford TV with should. all the public domain horror Great. stuff. I'd love to. Okay. Uh, why don't, a, why don't you talk to Oh, well, uh, oh Dr. that's Dr. right. On Milford TV? Sorry. Yeah. Huh. We a, tried. He's from Bellingham. Dr. Drek. I know the guy from Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is great. Watch that, too. It is yeah, a they show. started They started actually over there when uh, during when we had our show a while back. It's a good show. Yeah. All right. That's it, folks. Have a great weekend and be and safe out there. And remember that the whole point of today was Andy Dick did not find Boner dead. <laughs> no, he did not. He did not, but he found the other guy dead. Yes. And we what was his name? Richard Linkletter? Hey, no. no, 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 no. Don't <laughs> eat the apples, kids. Strickland. Strickland. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, okay. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Throw the apples away.